Um, next is from Roberto Almanza, and the subject is the return of Tessa Blanchard. Hi, guys. Tessa Blanchard recently made a return to the ring after a couple years of being away. The match was versus Miranda Ali's at an indie promotion called Hurricane Pro, Res- Pro Women's Wrestling. Did you get a chance to see that match? Tessa looked happy to be back. Crowd cheered for her. She's wearing white gear. She shook her opponent's hand and hugged after. She gave the vibe that she's turned babyface. I personally love Tessa's work as a heel, but if this is Tessa's comeback as a babyface, what should be Tessa's next move? Can she pull off the babyface turn despite the past bullying accusations against her? And does she have a chance of ever getting signed to AEW or WWE? Thanks, Roberto. Um, I would say this. I didn't really. But she's been out of the business for two years, and, that, and hasn't she kind of been out of the business because of she's got she's kind of getting blackballed because the girls made those accusations about her? I know she had problems at the, at the Wow Show, whatever happened, everything. But like, I mean, isn't two years kind of enough of a punishment? This girl's young and she's talented. I mean, she should definitely have a spot in AEW or WWE. Her work is that good. What, what, what do you think, Conan? What's the exact question? Can, um, can can she? Well, what should be her next move? And does she have the the baby? The, okay, here's here's a question. What's her next move? Can she pull off the baby face turn despite the past bullying accusations against her? And does she have a chance of ever getting signed to AEW or WWE? Yeah, of course she has a chance of both because she's young. Everybody ends up signing with one of them. I just think that she's had heat with other girls and it's affecting her. Right. Which is interesting because my interaction with her when I worked with her, I thought she was very professional, very respectful, very you're just, you know. I don't know. It's just a bad. I don't, bro. But that's the thing. You know, girl, that this is the thing. You know, girls are like it's easy to trigger girls. Like girls have issues with each other, like way more than the guys do. You know, and it's like, and it's because they're, I don't know, they're just like more emotional or victims and stuff. I don't. Know. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. not only the bullying accusations because remember, it was about two years ago that she uh, was Impact Champion, and then they had to strip her of the title because she wasn't sending in promos and wasn't going to come to the pay per view or something like that. So that's another, you know. Mark. Well, she was stuck in Mexico too, from my understanding, right? That's what. Like there, there were travel restrictions and stuff. They couldn't. You couldn't even get out. You yeah. couldn't get get from Mexico into the United States. Right. That was in the, in the so, heart of coronavirus time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. She deserves. I mean. Two years is enough of punishment for girls talented as she is. I would I would say she she deserves to make a living. 